So to the most astonishing season in the club's history. The traditional hoops were no more and stripes were now the high fashion. Killy were in the Fair Cities Cup. The first round draw brought them European giants Eintracht Frankfurt and a 3-0 first leg defeat in Germany, the club's first European tie. What happened next was one of the most remarkable stories in the entire history of the Scottish game. And safely back to the side. An indication here of how slippy the ball is. Incidentally, there are four members of the Eintracht team still playing, who played against Real Madrid. But here's the inside left going through, a great shot, and it's a magnificent goal! A magnificent goal by Hubert, the inside left from all of 25 yards, with little more than one minute, minute gone. 12 minutes played. Kelly still 1-0 down, and of course, 4-0 down on aggregate. Sneddon, McAnally, tried a short one, off an arm there, but he's not given it, he's given a goal, scored by Ronnie Hamilton, quite a sensational goal there by the centre forward after 12 minutes, that will give great encouragement to Kilmarnock, I thought that the centre half definitely handled the ball, it might have been inside the box, but the referee, Allowed play to proceed and Ronnie Hamilton snapped up that pass from McAnally to make the score. Eintracht 1, Kilmarnock 1. King. Well into the German half. McAnally. Out to McLean. A low cross. Missed there and the centre forward. goal there and the scorer Brian McElroy outside left Brian McElroy thunderous applause for that goal in the 16th minute free to Killy just inside the Eintracht half five minutes gone on the second half Rory with the kick, even left back, McFadden's up for it. And he's in position. And he's headed it into the net! A sensational third goal for Kilmarnock. Headed into the net by left back Jim McFadden after five minutes of the second half. And listen to the crowd roar. Germans are clearly rattled now. King. Hubert, blocked by McAnally. Good Herbert forward from McGrory. Beatty, nice bit of play by Frank Beatty, trying a left foot shot, a great effort! A great effort and just turned over the, up the crossbar there by goalkeeper Loy. Fazin. Side. McElroy, dangerous one, and there's McAnally with the fourth goal for Kamana with ten minutes left for play. Little wonder the field is being invaded here at Rugby Park with hundreds of Delighted boys, Kilmarnock have done what seemed almost impossible, they've pulled back a three goal deficit and there's still eight or nine minutes left for play, giving them a tremendous incentive to even go on and put Eintracht out of the Fair Cities Cup. Right back King to take it, right on target, Krauss back defending. Long one, rather like icing the puck in desperation. Anything to keep those eager Kilmarnock forwards away from goalkeeper Loy. Hamilton. 
Back to McLean. A low one. And a hit the upright. A tremendous shot. There's McFadden. Hamilton. Back to King. Out to McLean again. What a climax. Another great cross. Throw to Calais. Four minutes left for play. And the game on aggregate all tied up at four goals each. Murray. McAnally. Hamilton. Pulled down there. Referees awarded it. Just a foot or so outside the penalty area. It was a touch and go one. Looks as though Snedden may try a chip, or is it to be King? Snedden, a short one, and it's a ball! Swarming onto Rugby Park. That was a short free kick from David Snedden. Hit into goal and it touched the and it touched the defender and caught goalkeeper Loy going the wrong way. And that makes it with only two minutes to go to Monarch five. Eintracht one and on aggregate to Monarch. Referee Adair taking his watch out now to look at it. And there is the final whistle with Kilmarnock victors by five goals to one in the Spear City's Cup tie and on aggregate through to the next round by 5-4. Sporting handshakes by the players and a tremendous invasion of the pitch on this historic night on Rain Sweat Rugby Park. And I remember there were a, it was an Irish referee and somebody got injured at the time and I think it was, I can't remember who it was, but anyway, I said to the referee, I said, how long is there to go for this time, you know? And he turned around and he says to me, he said, no, you worry about the time, son. He says, you've plenty of time to get another goal. But anyway, as I say, the game started again and we scored about the last couple of minutes, you know? And the scenes that night were terrific. You'll get great arguments between Comarque supporters as to the most memorable game, but I think in balance I'd be right in saying that the Eintracht game is a game that probably most people would remember, even even above the, the, the title winning game against Hearts. It was just such a special evening, I think the crowd was 16,000 that night, but it felt as if there was 160,000 in the ground. But they, the crowd just seemed to sense from a very early stage that something special was taking place that night and they were privileged to be there and be involved in it. And just everything, I think, went in our favour that night. Apart from the fact that Jeremy scored, I think, the first five minutes, and that was them up 4 nothing. But as I say, it, just, it, was, it was just one of these win-off nights. That just, we could have beaten MD, I think, that night with three, four, five goals.